pitfalls to avoid in LRDA if I talk. There's always this eternal question about question selection or puzzle set selection in LRDA, which is super important. Right? So, uh, puzzle selection, there are two extremes. It's like look at all four sets, spend eight, ten minutes, take your decisions, jump in, pick your best one, and solve it. Other thing is take the first question, attempt it, go see the second question if this doesn't work out. Right? I would not recommend either one. The first one is not your type, you're going to add on to pressure. In the first strategy where you look at everything and then pick, then you're losing 8 minutes doing nothing. That's 20% of the paper, which is high. More than that, it puts pressure on you to get the decision right. In LRDA, calling level of difficulty is not that easy. Very often you'll think that if one question is right up your alley, super easy, kind of my territory. Attempt it and see that it is not working for you. So you should dump it. But you spent eight minutes looking at all the sets and, and selected one set and you spend eight minutes and you're not going anywhere. A part of your brain is saying, look, this is my best set. I need to make it work. And you spend another six, seven minutes, more than half the paper is gone, zero on the plate. So if you spend eight, ten minutes on question selection, doesn't work. If you spend zero on go in sequence, doesn't work. My strategy is look at a set. And if it looks like it's in my swinging zone, attempt it. Nothing gives me more confidence. And, and a feel good factor than marking three, four choices confidently. So I'll see one, skip it, look at the second one, it works, I solve it. I'm at minute number 18, I've skipped one set, I've attempted one set, nothing can stop me from nailing one of the remaining two. At least I feel like that in that moment. I've done this and then still messed up papers. I'm just saying. So suppose a question set is up here, Ali, then pick it and do it. Then with that energy, you can go to the next one. And so, the extrapolation the pitfall for this is what we discussed. You double down on one and go and spend a long time on it. And so you need to have something like a like something that prevents you from spending too much time, like a stop loss. Okay, look, 12 minutes, I've not got the hang of it. My marks are elsewhere. Something like that, where you don't feel betrayed, where you don't feel like the whole ship is sinking, where you don't feel like up to gaya khatam. You say, theek hai, we got this. Dekh lenge. Will, the marks will be found elsewhere. I'm not going to crumble because of this. So, DILR is I'm spending an enormous time on the pitfalls only on question selection, not on set solving. The, the, the one final factor on question selection is DILR question selection is extremely tough and extraordinarily not foolproof. So I, I like some ideas beautifully. It's right up my alley. It talks about prime numbers, composite numbers, and talks about arithmetic progression. I'm like flying, very thrilled. And then I still won't be able to solve it because there's something else in it that is too difficult and too complicated, even in even though it is in my preferred zone. And so in which case I'll have to dump it and find my marks elsewhere. So how you cut your losses and go somewhere else, that is as crucial or more crucial. So, so how you manage your temperament and how you improve your set selection, that is very important. What is the one thing that goes in your way in DILR? The bar is low. Get one set, select it, get it right, you're 92, 93rd percentile. Typically, five questions all right, it's upwards of 90th percentile or has been upwards of 90th percentile last four years. Get. And so, it is uh, sometimes surprising and sometimes actually not. When you process this, 90% of aspirants who take CAT do not get one even one LRDA puzzle right framed like that it seems like oh my god it's impossibly tough if you process it the paper is tough the section is tough it is very much possible that 90 percent of the students are not ready to crack one which means if you keep your wits with you and crack one you're crossing that all kinds of hurdles and going to 91 92 93 percentile so frame your strategy completely around getting one set right that's the not a pitfall but that's what your your plan should be Best wishes for cat.